Welcome back to the show. It's still Salam Umma. Now it's time for our focal point where we get to talk more on the topic for today, which is cleanliness in Islam. And um, we have a guest in the house. Ibrahim, who do we have in the house? We would like to say Salam Alaikum to our brother, Ustaz Abdul Aziz Abdul Latif. Did I get that right? Inshallah. Mashallah. It's good to have you here, even within a short possible time. Um, brother, we are looking at this important and interesting topic, which is uh, cleanliness in Islam. And we want you to shed lights because a lot of people understand that cleanliness is just to take soap, water, jump into the bathroom and brush a bath and that's it. But when we say Islamically, uh, what exactly are the terms? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasul al-Kaleem wa ali wa sahibah ajma'een. Alhamdulillah, the question asked about cleanliness in Islam. That word cleanliness is a general topic or the general point. It cuts across every human being. Only that Islam has a special way of taking care of cleanliness. So when we say cleanliness in Islam, for example, it means general cleaning of the body, the soul, and your environment. In fact, the objects you use, like your dresses and the likes, are to be taken good care of. That word cleanliness means at tahara mm -hmm. And the Prophet said, at tahur shatrul iman. He said, cleanliness is half of faith. And when we say faith, it means believe in Allah, which is the foundation upon which every act of worship is based. So if cleanliness is taken out of your worship, it means it's not going to be acceptable. Mm -hmm. Let me start like this. Cleanliness is divided into three. Or let me say we have three phases of cleanliness. I just mentioned it earlier. I said cleanliness of the soul, of the body, place of worship, including objects of worship. Now, cleanliness, cleanliness of the soul, that is where Islam is different from every other religion. Of your soul. How do you take care of your soul? Allah loves you. He creates human being which happens to be the you know the highest creature of God on earth then in your body Allah cherishes something that is your heart your soul. The soul and the only thing Allah loves to see in your heart is perfect iman in him mm -hmm. that is what you call an iman so in a way how do you purify your soul it must be purified from you know shirk which is disbelief in Allah so actions Actually, no, no, now you know there are two things. All right. You have faith and action. Mm -hmm. that are the, you know, the, 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 there are the two spaces of Islam. You have the faith and the action. Quran says, in the Ladina Amanu wa Amilu So your act Iman is, comes, yeah. then act of righteousness follows. You understand? Follows. So your heart now has to be purified. You understand? To correct your actions. To correct your actions to authenticate your actions, you understand? So how do you do that? Most of the time we do astaghfirullah. We say la ilaha illallah. We say subhanallah. We say alhamdulillah. All these are capable of purifying your heart. From what? From greed, hmm. from malice, from rancor, from envy, and so on and so forth. Once this one is taken care of, you are good to go. Hmm. That is why in salah, for example, you perform ablution. The ablution washes the exposed parts of the body. Of the body. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. But that inner part of it, how is it washed? Mm -hmm. Immediately you complete your ablution, what do you say? You say, Ashadu Allah, Ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, alayahumma ij'alni min al-tawwabin, wa ij'alni min al-mutatahirin. I testify there is no one worthy of worship except Allah, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. O oh Allah, make me among those who repent unto you and those who purify themselves. Hmm. A tawbah is mentioned in that recitation. So, so Stas, uh, generally, uh, hmm. Luna, uh, we're looking at cleanliness, it goes deeper than actually than the we, physical yeah, aspect exactly. of it. Yes. So he's basically saying it has to be genuine from the inside as well. Inside it's not just well. saying it or acting it, it has to come from, from the staying inside. positive. From inward, from the, yeah, yeah. It's an inward thing. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, shatru, uh, at tahur shatrul iman. What is tahur? 
purification is half of faith. It's not about you know, putting on new garments. Mm. Mm -hmm. Adorn yourself with all sorts of, you know, yeah. what you use, your stand. Yes. It has to start right From in you. That is why you will not go astray. Yeah. Exactly. You know, we have a lot of people who observe Salat today, but what do they do eventually exactly. after that? Exactly. That Salat has no impact because their faith mm. is shaky. It's shaky. Now, I want to relate it to this. When people hear the word jihad, they think mm -hmm. it's holy war. Yeah. But jihad is actually struggle in the real sense of it. Right. And they said there are different stages of jihad. The first stage is jihad and nafs, mm -hmm. which is purification very, very good, very of, good, the heart. of the heart. While the last one is uh, the one when the sh uh, push comes to shove, then you can defend yourself. So, okay. uh, I, I, I'm trying to find out if it's related, if the jihad exactly. is that's also what, related that's to the cleanliness. That's what we are talking about. Because I have no says, idea that jihad, like the cleanliness is like part of jihad. Part I thought of it, yeah, yes. jihad is just struggle within oneself. So now yeah. I'm yeah, hearing... Within yourself. It's, yes. What do you struggle against? And nafs al amara that heart, so, that so soul that commands you, is part of purifying you. yourself. So it's also that's why the prophet is saying, even if you have done every act of worship mm -hmm. and you are not disciplined within From yourself, within it's it. tantamount to nothing. Exactly. You understand? So that's exactly so what I, I think. That's just the nucleus of the whole thing. That's in what fact, makes you know, is 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 a, is a little thing if you say it but it spoils every act mm. if care is not taken. So in other words, it's like saying tackle a problem from the root, not from mm -hmm. the branches. Mm -hmm. That's all. So MashaAllah, this is interesting. You, you, you really revealed a lot, uh, you know, to us. Alhamdulillah. So that is just one segment, one aspect one of the purification of, of the soul, soul of the heart. Right. You know, the Quran says, Qad aflaha man wa qad khaba man Whoever purifies his heart, his soul, is what is successful. Mm. But those who leave it unpurified, they are ruined. You understand? So it tells you how significant that is. In fact, every act of worship is based upon purity of the soul. Mm. Now we come to the other, the other aspect of it, purity of the body and the place of worship. worship. Generally, we know environment has to, to stay be clean. clean. Yeah. Now, purity of the body is subdivided into five aspects. We have there's something we call al-istinja. Right. There's one we call al istijmar. Al -istijmar. There's one we call al ghusl. Al and the one al wudu. Al -wudu. And the last one al tayammum. Wow. What is al istinjar? Al istinjar is cleaning oneself after attending to the call of nature with water. Okay. Then the other one, which is al istijmar, is when you, the, in the absence of water, Islam mm -hmm. makes provision so you will not have escapes. You understand? That is purification or cleaning oneself after attending to the call of nature, but with dry objects, such as tissue this paper, is, okay. you have stone, piece Stones, of wood, yeah. piece of wood, and so on and so forth. You understand? So this is essential as well. Because without that, if you urinate, for example, and you don't, you know, clean yourself, that salat is not it's accepted. Right. Yes. Yeah. So you have to clean yourself, clean up yourself, which shows that Almighty is clean. And we only accept what is clean. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That is one aspect. Hmm. So the other one is al wudu. That is, yeah. you know, is generally known As that when what ablution? That if you're about to pray to Allah, and some other thing like you want to go to bed at night, it's always yeah. good to perform it's ablution. Right. If you want to recite Quran, it's always it's good. good. Not that it's that compulsory. It's only compulsory it's for to. a salah. Yeah. You understand? So watching the exposed parts of, of the, the body, body. Those, bo those parts of the body that are prone to death. Mm -hmm. Your face. Your hands. Your hands. You understand? Your feet. Then we also have al guslu al guslu which is very, very essential. Very. Uh, maybe you you come up in contact with your wife mm -hmm. and there's you know discharge of you know fluids and what have you you have to do this is very very essential and also you know, like after the periods women very good after the period after a woman has put to bed and yeah. you know then mm -hmm. stoppage in the you know after bed flow yeah. of you know blood when one just accepts Islam look at that mm. it's, you know al Islam when you accept Islam Guslu al Islam, yeah. al -Islam. Then upon accepting, you know, the tashahud, accepting Islam, and you have made the pronouncement, you understand, you have to perform guslu. Why are you performing guslu? The question we need to ask ourselves. To cleanse yourself. What part of the body do you clean in that aspect? Two things are combined. Exactly. Tell us, Malam. You know, you're coming from what we regard as infidelity. Yeah. You understand? 
an un-Islamic act. Is that what we call Majorly the Rida? shirk. No, okay. Rida is a different Rida is a different thing. Okay. Shirk, disbelief in the oneness, oh. the uniqueness, the existence, and the uniqueness of Allah. And supremacy of Allah. The supremacy of Allah. That's under the uniqueness mm -hmm. of Allah. Are you get what I'm saying? You're coming from outside Islam, which we believe uh, yeah. do not accept what? So basically, Allah. to be part of Islam, you need to also purify You need to yourself. do that. Your soul yeah. has to be purified. Cleaned up. So you say the tashahud, which has cleansed your what? Your inner soul. It has set the then pace. you perform guslu. In what has been what? Purified. purified. And the body time. also has been purified. Yeah. Are you getting me? Marshall. So you're not, you're not just coming in with just like that. You know, yeah. those things, those mm -hmm. jargons mm -hmm. that are mentioned or that are practiced in, in the past. Ways. You understand? So that is the one. Then you also have Ghuslu al Janaza. That's for the dead. For the diseased ones. Mm -hmm. You understand? You make them clean wow. before meeting God Almighty. So these are the five aspects or the five phases of the last segment. Of the fourth third outlined which is yes purity of the body. body there's also the one we perform on fridays before we go for it's also on the good now it's also yeah. one of those okay. that one you perform okay. before you go for the eid for the eid as you understand well. yeah. they are sunnah and it's very very and essential. all those ones we do, we do during the hajj hajj inshallah those are part of yeah. it are you getting yourself? She remembers that. She's, yeah, she's yeah, been yeah. there several times. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been there. Oh my God. And I'll make it easy for every one of us. So what I'm saying generally is that Islam is all about purity. You know the Quran says, it said, يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَا لُنْ وَلَا بَنُونْ إِلَّا مَنْ أَطَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ That day your riches will be useless. Your children, whom you have raised, you know, to whatever level, mm -hmm. they will be useless on that day. Allah says, except those who meet Allah with a purified soul. So. Are you getting me? So that is exactly what Islam is talking about. Purification, purification of the what? Of the soul, of the body, and of the place and objects of Worship. Worship. Wow. It's a great pleasure. Alhamdulillah. I have uh, learned a lot. Stars, yes, There's a lot I of things to. that I actually grabbed today. So yes, I, I have to. And the big lesson there actually is for us to understand the fact that um, cleanliness of the heart precedes hmm. every, yeah. other, yeah. every other yeah. aspect of it. MashaAllah. Thank you, Thank you so very much, much uh, Staz. And, um, it's been educating. Yes, very. We'll take another break right now. And then when we come back, we shall still be on Salam Ummah. Uh, don't go away. <laughs>